Howdy folks, today we are looking at the Lepi LP2051. This is a little bit, uh, little bit interesting compared to some of the other units in this line. First off, it is not a uh, 12 volt, 20 watt general amplifier. This is a 19 volt, 100 watt amplifier. It's more rare than a lot of the other ones. I barely ever see this one available. It, it is still it is still out there, but you have to really know what you're looking for. I didn't see any other videos on YouTube looking at this one. And like I said, you really have to know what you're looking for to be able to find it even on Amazon. The general packaging is about the same as most of these but the face is a little bit different as you can see you've got toggle switches instead of the buttons on the other one and the dials are a little bit different as well uh this one if i recall correctly does have a uh, genuine uh tripath 2051 chipset in it uh let's see what else is interesting about this guy yeah they make it a little more difficult to get into using uh allen screws instead of the cheap Phillips head that uh, most of them use. And one thing I did find that was a little bit interesting with this guy, I don't know if you can see up close here, but most of these are traditional Allen screws, but one of them, yeah, this guy right here is a uh, star drive. I thought that was a little bit interesting. So I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's poor quality control on account of the screw manufacturer or distributor or what. Uh, but let's take this guy apart and start looking inside and then we'll run some numbers and see how it compares. All right, so you can see that this one is quite a bit different. Still got still got your relays and your output caps across the back. You've got your heat sink over the uh, main amplifier. The 2051, if I recall correctly, is a uh, chip set, not just a single chip. And if we look close at this guy here, this guy is, let's see, the TC2001, which I believe is the companion chip to the actual TK2051. So let's see, what else is there to talk about with this guy? Not a whole lot. It's a very different, very different machine than, than the little guys. I mean, if you look at the Check out that capacitor here. It's pretty substantial comparatively to uh, what the other one's got. Uh, but as far as little bits and bobs on this thing, it's largely the same. Let's see. How does this one do the lighting? I don't see the. I don't see any LEDs for the lights. Actually, I don't. This one might not actually have lighting at all. It looks like it's got spaces for the LEDs back here, but then again, the other one has that too. But it doesn't actually have the LEDs on the board. Well, let's see what happens when we give it some power and figure it out. Ah, that's what they did. It's got surface mounted LEDs. So maybe that'll work better than, uh, than the ones on the other boards. Now we'll hook this guy up and take some measurements.
It's got an interesting characteristic here as I'm uh, coming down in the voltage. It's actually singing a little bit. I'm not sure if you can hear it. It's definitely not, uh, you know, amplifying the input signal in a in a true manner. But uh, I actually kind of like the noise that it's making. All right, down at uh, 16 volts, it's uh, too distorted for the <laughs> distortion detector to pick up the signal, but the uh, the noise it makes is kind of interesting. I may have to uh, play with this, and I've uh, got a friend who uh, may enjoy these noises as well. So yeah, I think that's about what we've got for today. I will add this to the breakdown on the blog post. Uh, almost forgot to do the comparison here for you all. So this guy really blows the little ones out of the water. You can't do a uh, straight volt to volt, you know, efficiency comparison because they, you know, they just aren't in the same, in the same arena. But when you're looking at actual usable power, yeah, this guy's putting out almost 86 decibels before it starts to come apart. That's 1% total harmonic distortion. Whereas the original 2020A plus is looking at, you know, 15 decibels less. So that's a pretty, pretty substantial difference there. And even when you're, even when you're overdriving it, it's still more than 10, more than 10 decibels less. And uh, that's really non-trivial. And when you're looking at even the, uh, the other amps that have a little bit better specs, this is the uh, the TI or the uh, the Kinter. You're still looking at, you know, at best 75, 73. You know, you're really not gonna not gonna get the the kind of power that you're gonna get out of the 2051 chipset and the beefier power supply. So. Yeah, if you're looking for if you're looking for actual power, I'll put a uh, link down below. These guys are still available. Uh, like I said, you have to know what you're looking for, but I can send you a, a direct link. And I think these are still going for about forty bucks, the same price as everything else. I think the the smaller ones are overpriced at forty bucks, but this guy's actually actually pretty good and well worth it. So yeah, that's uh, actually going to be the end for today. And thanks as always for watching, and we will see you next time.